Hey guys, this is Josh with Down to the Roots. It's been two weeks since I fed this bin the first time. And I've been keeping an eye on it ever so often. And just making sure they haven't went through the food too much. Because you don't want them to run out of food. But I have checked it this morning and it is needing a feeding. I don't have any food thawed out right now. I keep all my food scraps in the freezer. I'll try to make a video on how I do that here soon. But I'm going to thaw some out this evening. Let it set out overnight and then I'm going to feed them in the morning. Like I mentioned in the other video, I started here. I'm going to feed here the next time and just go clockwise around this bin until it is processed enough to harvest. But I'll show you the worms down in here and just let you get an idea of how I knew it was time to feed them. He pulled the dry bedding back. And you can see the damp bedding underneath it but you can't really see any food scraps you can see worms crawling around you can see a couple little pieces of the tomato and stuff a few other pieces that have worms on them but there's no big chunks of food scraps in there so that tells me that they have almost went through all of that and it's time to give them some more It's already getting processed pretty good, looks like. But that's how I know it's time to feed again. It's a big worm right there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave it how it is for now. Then in the morning, I will come in here and add some more food to the other side. I have had a little bit of trouble with the worms trying to crawl up out. That's why I've got so much dry bedding on this. And what I've been doing is I've been taking the lid off of it while I'm up here during the day to let it dry out so they won't try and crawl up. So hopefully they'll quit that soon. If not, I might end up having to leave the lid off of it like I used to do. So that's that. That's this bin. I'll keep you updated on it again here in the next couple weeks or so. Just let you know how it's going. This is a, another project that I wanted to show you. This is a new worm bin that I'm going to start. It's going to be ran completely different from the other bin. It is only going to be fed compost and leaves i'll probably put some eggshells in it too but i won't be putting any paper bedding i won't be putting any other type of bedding in it i've ordered the 2000 red wigglers that i'm going to use for this one from uncle jim's worm farm it's a really good company that's where i ordered my worms from the last time that i started composting had really good luck out of them had really good worms and stuff so that's where i decided to order them from this time the bin is a 14 gallon Rubbermaid tote. I ended up buying it because I didn't have one the size that I wanted. It was, I think, like $20, something like that. So, not real bad. And inside the bin, I have my homemade compost. This has been screened through a half inch compost screen, like I showed in some of my other videos. But this was made this summer in my chicken run. I let them help me do compost and I'll probably make a video on them this spring whenever I get started with it but I put all my grass clippings in there and I have their chicken bedding in it wood chips that I get has leaves anything you can think of yard waste wise I put in that compost and I let the chicken scratch it around they pick the weed seeds out of it and the bugs and everything and drop their manure in it it's a really good compost has all kinds of different ingredients in it it has went through the thermal cycle of heating up and cooling down. I, well, basically, I just pile it up, let the chicken scratch it down, and then I pile it up again. And it will heat up a compost. So it's at the finished stage. It is at the stage where the worms, the peel bugs, all the other organisms will come into it and finish breaking it down from what the bacteria didn't do. So this is going to be perfect material for the worms to be in and they will turn it into some really good worm castings. In the bottom of it, I took some of this compost and I mixed with some homemade biochar that I made. I've never used biochar before, but I've been wanting to try it, so I made me a little kiln out of some empty paint cans that we have up here, and I made some, so I mixed it in with some of this compost and put it in the bottom layer of this bin. So I figured you're supposed to inoculate it from what I understand, before you put it into the garden with compost or worm castings or something. So I figured this would be a good place to put it. I might make a video on my kiln the next time I use it. But it's nothing special. 
So this is basically five gallons of screened out compost in this bin. It ended up being, looks like about six inches deep, something like that. But I'm going to put these worms in it and mulch it with leaves. The leaves will keep the top from drying out. That way they can get to all of the compost that's in here and process it. And any leaves that they eat will only make this material that much better. So that's my plan with this one. I will keep you updated on it. Just a quick overview of how I'm planning on running this one is I'm going to put this material in it, five gallon bucket of compost, top it off with leaves let the worms process it for four to six weeks, depending on how much it looks processed whenever I check on it. After that, I'm gonna screen every bit of it through a quarter inch screen. What goes through the screen is gonna be really good finished compost and worm castings and some of the cocoons. I will use that to make seed starting mix or put in my garden bed, which will inoculate my garden with worms, which will make it even better. And the stuff left in the screen will be the rough stuff that hasn't been composted yet and it'll be the mature worms. I will then put another five gallon bucket of manure in here, top it off with that material that was screened out and let it go again for another four to six weeks. So that's how I plan on running this bin. I'll keep you updated on both of the bins as they go. Just to subscribe so you can keep up with them. Thanks for watching and like this video. Bye.